Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Rutan Line Vlog. Um, hello everyone, how are you? And uh, sorry, it's been a while since my last video, but I would like to share our good news regarding uh, my spousal visa application. After um, patiently waiting for um, 351 days since June 16, 2022, our I-130 form uh, submitted to the United States uh, Citizenship and Immigration Services or what we call the USCIS has finally been approved. Oh my god, we are so happy that uh, finally we got approved on this uh, uh, stage because uh, this stage can be quite uh, lengthy ranging from six months to a year or even more uh, depending on the service center um, handling your case um, some are lucky that their case um, got approved in less than a year uh, my husband and i had our case uh, processed at uh, texas uh, service center before we always uh, check the status every day <laughs> hoping for the approval i know everybody did the same thing and for almost uh, two weeks um the processing time saying your case is taking longer than expected at that point um we were starting to lose hope uh, not to bother checking it every day especially after um hearing uh, stories of some people who filed their application back in 2021 and are still waiting for approval but in june the third out of boredom while in the middle of my uh, shift i opened the lawfully app where i checked my case and i couldn't believe my eyes an amazing news of an approval message uh, since june the second so i called my husband and shared the good news uh, we thought it may take longer but we are absolutely overjoyed and couldn't contain our happiness as finally we were done in usca stage while uh, we still have a long uh, journey ahead, we are excited as we are now uh, one step closer to our dreams to be together. By the way, uh, we managed the entire process on our own without the assistance or help of an immigration agency or lawyer. It's all uh, DIY or we did it by ourselves. I joined in different Facebook spousal visa support group and group chats. Um, they are a lot. You can search it in Facebook. You can ask, um, you can ask a tips, a questions, or clarifications if you needed uh, help or confusions. And um, the member there are very helpful. And of course, I uh, did some uh, thorough research what to do and don't i highly suggest and recommend it diy or do it by yourself especially if your case is not complicated because you can monitor your case by yourself and you can save thousands of dollars too i read in the groups a lot of immigration lawyer made a mistake with their application and it delays the approval and like our experience with uh, our lawyer we hired back in 2020 um, my husband uh, paid four thousand dollars to process our k-1 visa supposed to be but um, she just ghosted us and didn't submit the uh, k-1 uh, visa application and we can't get our money back until now so we decided to get married and do it by ourselves instead I'm so glad that our application was approved without any request for additional evidence or RFE. Me and my husband didn't even have any joint bank accounts, uh, shared bills, or shared properties or a lease agreements under our names together. So I submitted a bunch of um, other documentations and evidences that can support our relationship like our collections of our cherished uh, photos capturing our memories together um, and with our families during my husband uh, visits here in Philippines our wedding photos um, flight stops his uh, passport stamps our hotel booking reservations um, airplane ticket uh, itineraries 
our chat and call uh, logs in our WhatsApp conversation in the past eight years of our relationship, uh, like three screenshot per year, um, some Facebook post about our relationship. In addition, we included two affidavit uh, statement of support, one from my father and another from my sister, without even uh, notarizing them. Uh, here's the format uh, if you would like to copy. Also, I submitted our local civil registry marriage certificate as it took a month and a half before our PSA marriage certificate was released. So when we applied in June the 16th on um, spousal visa online, we don't have a PSA that time. So when I got the um, PSA marriage certificate, I just uploaded it in um, unsolicited evidence. Um, you will see that when you submitted your I-130 form online. Those couples who are currently going through a similar experience, um, just keep praying and enjoy your life while waiting. Overthinking, it only adds um, unnecessary stress, which is never a good thing. It gives you wrinkles and makes you ugly. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, please uh, don't lose hope if you have been waiting already for a year. Um, no worries, your approval will come very soon. Uh, stay positive and make the most of your time by staying productive. I understand how frustrating and nerve-wracking it can be when all you want is to be with your loved ones. But hang on tight because the day of your approval will also come. So finally, we are now in, entered the national visa or in visa stage. After three days of the approval, we receive an email for the uh, what they called in visa welcome letter notification with our case number and IV number, um, where I have recently completed paying the fees, uh, providing the necessary financial support and affidavit of support or AOS of the petitioner, um, our civil documents for both me and my husband, um, the DS-260 for myself, um, that's all. And while, while you wait, um, you might want to check out these uh, stages requirements so you're prepared when your approval comes. Moreover, I will be creating a YouTube uh, video tutorial on how to fill out and uh, complete the I-130 form for a spousal visa. If you're interested, uh, stay tuned as I will uh, be uploading it very soon. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification uh, bell button so you won't miss my upcoming videos and to follow my spousal visa journey. And hopefully we can be all reunited with our loved ones. Until then, uh, take care, uh, stay positive, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.